Hello, I'm Chuck, and this is Maker and Fixer of Things. Today on the channel, I'll be installing pass-through power in the side of my travel trailer. Pass-through power is when you put a male receptacle on the outside of, of the trailer and a female outlet receptacle on the inside of the trailer so that you can plug an extension cord into the outside of a trailer, plug the other end into an electrical outlet, and have a single 120 volt outlet receptacle inside the trailer that you can use to power something such as a heater. The reason you would want to do this is so you don't overload the electrical system inside of your trailer. We have a 30 amp power system in our trailer and we typically cannot run a, uh, an electric heater and the microwave at the same time. They, that will trip a breaker. So this will alleviate that problem by having us running a separate line of power into the trailer to plug the heater into to give us heat. So the things we'll need for today's project is a flush against the wall outlet, which I've already drilled a hole in the back to fit the uh, back end of the plug, um, and some flexible 12 gauge wire, it's 12 gauge because it's going to be a 20 amps, up to a 20 amp circuit, and then a weatherproof uh, receptacle for the outside of the trailer. I'll also be using some butyl tape and be wiring this up. Uh, with with the wire ahead of time so I can just feed it through and then attach it to the side and then um, Be able to mount this on the inside that way we'll be able to plug in our trailer to a 20 amp circuit as well as the 30 amp circuit so if we're camping in the winter we can run a heater inside off of this and Everything else in the trailer off the 30 amp Trying not to cut the inside wires This is the size of the hole saw I needed, so I made sure to mark it on there so I would uh, bring the right one down with me. I believe these are, yeah, these are already all the way out. Next, I'll make sure the 30 amp power supply is off of the breaker. Then I'll turn off the inverter to make sure there's no 120 volt supply. Okay, so next is to find a location for the, for the outlet. It's probably best right about here. Just put it right under the corner of the window. Actually, I'm going to move in a little bit from the corner of the window because there's most likely a stud right there. Can't really tell. If there is a stud, there's a stud right there. So I'm going to go right here. So power's off. Um, 12 volt power's on, I'm not terribly worried about that. If I nick a 12 volt wire, it ain't gonna kill me. There we go. I apologize for the background noise, we do live on a busy street. With the pilot hole drilled, it's time to drill straight through with the hole saw. Hold it steady for the That's actually not going to look bad at all. Glad it didn't interrupt the stripes, that would look bad. So I'm using exterior screws to make sure that they don't rust. <laughs> Plenty of butyl tape wrapped around there. Make sure it's good and snug and watertight. Like I said, exterior screws. All 
then I'll clean that up and put some caulk around it and we'll be done. Moving inside, I next attach the mounting plate to the wall and make sure it's level. Then, I'm cutting and stripping the ground wire and attaching it to the mounting plate. The next step is to add the metal box to the mounting plate. This gives me another inch of space to house the receptacle. After that, I attached the neutral and hot wires and screwed the receptacle into the box. Finally, I put on the cover plate, and now I'll test. And it's done. It's that easy. You just need to make sure you get the right size hole saw, and everything else just falls together. Using a 12 gauge uh, extension cord because 14 gauge extension cords are dumb. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, the test. Green light. Green is good. Correct. Nice. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.